Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy, A T. Now, hey, bro. I know it's been a couple weeks. I ain't came with a food review, but today we back at it. Um, pizza Hut supposedly came out with a new Detroit style pizza. Now, I heard about this a couple days ago. I think that was my first time actually hearing about it. Um, I actually wasn't planning on doing the review, but I'm at work. Um, my mom's actually here, and she wants she ordering pizza for the whole staff. You feel me? So I said, why not go? I mean, why not go ahead and try it out now? She already went ahead and ordered it. So I'm about to go and pick it up. Um, let me give y'all a quick description. Supposedly it's like three different, three or four different styles of this De Pizza Hut Detroit style pizza. Um, the first one, they got double cheesy. They got a meaty deluxe that has bacon, Italian sausage, and crispy cup pepperoni. Y'all know that? Those, those cup pepperonis, though, hey, things be hitting, coach. Then they got a Supreme, a Supremo. So they got Italian sausage, red onions, and green bell pepper. So basically, a, a, well, not necessarily a full veggie pizza, but you feel me? It's a regular Supreme pizza topping. You feel me? But either way, bro, I'm doing a little bit too much talking. Like I said, I'm about to go pick this up. We're going to come back, knock out the review. Catch y'all in a second, coach. All right, y'all. We didn't just pull it up, right? I think this Pizza Hut has a drive through my nigga. I've never been to a Pizza Hut with a drive through in it, but... About to find out today, coach. As y'all see, yes they do. Yes they do. Now this is clutch. I thought I was gonna have to get out the whip and do all that. First of all, can I get this brightness right for y'all? That ain't got no, I guess you would order it before and then you come up to the drive through because they ain't got no, they ain't got no uh, like intercom or nothing for you to order. So I guess you could just place your order and then you come up to the drive through That's clutch, you feel me? Let's get this piece of though. A few moments later. cheese pool was a little strong you feel me i want to get another but we just gonna stick with this one for now and uh we got another one under here so i'm gonna grab a slice of that as well y'all stay tuned i'm about to set the camera up so y'all can see me while we eating and doing all that catch y'all in a second y'all can we appreciate this one though my goodness my goodness Go ahead and grab this one. Alright y'all, so we done finally made it in here. Um, the reason I got this here is so I can sit that there for y'all. Let y'all kind of see what's... Hold on, coach. Yeah, just let y'all see what's going on here. So we got the Detroit style there, and I believe this is just a meat lovers. Um, of course, you got the crust on there and all that. But uh, we gonna try the Detroit style first since that's what we're here for. Now, supposedly this is the double pepperoni one. So just for anybody who might've been wondering, um, we trying out the double pepperoni style today. I kind of wish that, cause I didn't know what kind she had ordered. She just ordered it and it was like, I can go in pick it up it was literally like three minutes from here so it was still hot steaming hot when i picked it up um but i do want to try the three the, the like one with bacon pepperoni and sausage on it i want to try that too so if y'all want to see a review for that one just let me know i might come with that um i had the receipt 
Hold on, bro. Let me grab the receipt so I can let y'all know how much it costs and all that. All right, y'all. I had to run outside real quick. It's a little nippy out there, coach. Got the receipt, though. How much we talking? $10.99 for the Detroit-style pizza. So basically $11 tax, I would assume, is... I don't even think they ended up adding tax on here. But tax, I wouldn't think tax is more than maybe a dollar fifty, maybe two dollars, depending on where you at. Um, so basically it'll probably come out to like twelve dollars after tax, maybe twelve fifty or something like that. Um, which is not too bad. I mean y'all saw the actual size of it, it's four square slices of pizza. It is what it is, you feel me? It is what it is, but I just wanted to let y'all know what the price was. Either way, it's time, coach. It's time. Mm. Them pepperonis with the cup on it. Like this one here. That like cups up when you warm it up or put it in the oven. You can tell the difference. And that sauce is so good. When you first taste it, it low key tastes like some. Like some sauce that. Have y'all ever had one of them Lunchables? That have like the, the like cold sauce in it with the, with the pizza and you put it together and got the pepperonis the cheese all that if you know what i'm talking about let me know in the comments when you initially bite it it kind of has a taste like that but as you start tasting it it's so it's like it's so much seasoning in that mess it's good bro initially it, it starts at a one because it tastes low-key like a like the lunchable marinara sauce but then as you <clears throat> as you get to actually tasting it all them flavors in it that thing is a 10 for me. Yeah, that sauce is probably the standout part next to them pepperonis. Mm, mm -mm. That's good stuff. Now, one thing I do wish, well, not I wish, but I for sure, if this is tasting like this, I know the one with the pepperoni, ba bacon, and sausage is going to be five times better or at least two times better than this one because this is already hitting for me so you add more meat and beef on there that thing gonna be hitting you feel me pause but let me take a little bite of this meat lovers that's just your classic meat lovers like now this it's good, but if you take a bite of the Detroit style first and then go to this, to the meat lovers, it's not the same. Matter of fact, let me take a couple of these sausage and put them on here. So we're going to make this into pepperoni and sausage. I ain't got no bacon. But I'm going to make this into pepperoni and sausage, you feel me? Boy, hands getting sloppy with it. It is what it is. <clears throat> but yeah, for sure, this Detroit style is better than the original Pizza Hut Pizza. That's hands down. Bro, this is too good. I really don't know what this price is though. Cause it says ten ninety nine, but it says minus four. I don't know. I'm gonna figure out what the price of it is. I'm gonna drop it down there in the, either in the comments or throw it up on the screen somewhere for y'all. Cause it said the initially it says y'all see this over here seventeen ninety nine. Where is it going to focus in? $17.99 for the Detroit style, but then down there, 
You see it says 1099 minus four. So I don't know if she used like some points or something and that's what brought it down. I don't know what it is. So like I said, I'm gonna throw it up on the screen <clears throat> or in the description for y'all. Okay, tap, bro. Hmm. Perfect the moon though. You feel me? That's what, like I'ma save this. Finish this first. I'ma save that last bite. That thing hidden. But pizza used to be my favorite pizza place. As of recent, I ain't gonna lie to you, I've been going to Little Caesars. And Little Caesars used to be one of my least favorite pizza places, you feel me? But I don't get they $5 hot and ready. You can't, if you go to Little Caesars, do not get the $5 hot and ready. <clears throat> that, that, that tastes good for the first five minutes and you're done after that, you feel me? Ordered a five meat feast or three meat treat. The three meat treat hits, but the five meat feast. I ordered a five meat feast and I'll substitute seasoned beef and ham for double pepperoni and double sausage. So you get double pepperoni, double sausage, and bacon. That's five toppings for like nine dollars and some change. You feel me? I think, well, no, no, I think it's like ten and some change. But, bro. With their garlic sauce or their garlic butter sauce, that thing be on point. Pizza Hut used to be my favorite. They used to have a little $6 medium three topping deal. I used to get that literally at least once a week. And I told this story in one of my, uh, one of the other food reviews we did, like maybe a month or two back. Matter of fact, the last food review we did as far as pizza was a low season one. I'll throw a link up there if y'all want to go check it out. I think it was for the... I can't remember what it was. It was some something that was going on with the actual crust on the pizza. Um, and then we also did a uh, Popeye's ripping chicken review recently too. If y'all haven't seen that, I'll drop a link up there, you feel me? But pizza used to be my favorite place. Like I said, I used to get that $6 medium three topping pizza like once a week, bruh, at least. And they had a little promotion where you could uh, you sign up for the for the rewards program, and you get free cheese sticks, right? I was on when I say I got like fifty emails open that that has nothing but an email from Pizza Hut for free cheese sticks. That's no cap. <clears throat> I was signing up with different emails every other day, and every time I ordered that six dollar medium three topping. I have free cheese sticks to go with it. I promise you. And then after that way, they ended up killing that whole promo off. That might have been because of me, honestly. Well, how many emails? I promise y'all, bro. <laughs> it's too many emails to count. That is not a joke. But I don't know. After that, I kind of got into Papa John's a little bit because of that garlic sauce. That was most definitely a little, a little way for a minute. Then I was on to Chinello's, getting they double pepperoni. Mm. Cause they pepperonis are similar to this De Detroit style pizza with the little cup. Some of them are like that, you feel me? And then as of recent, like I said, I've been on Little Caesars. But either way, go ahead and finish this off. I hear that crunch, right? Mm.
Hey man, that was our review <clears throat> of Pizza Hut's new Detroit style pizza, the double pepperoni, but we kind of turned it into the double pepperoni and sausage, you feel me? But that thing was hitting. The crust on it, the sauce, and those cup pepperonis, stand out part of it, bruh. I definitely recommend checking it out at least one time if you haven't. Um, but like, personally, I would go with the pepperoni, sausage, and bacon version of it over the double pepperoni. That's just me. But but the, the double pepperoni was still hitting. Don't get me wrong. You feel me? Peace out. You did your thing, coach. Either way, bro, I need y'all to get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this. You feel me? Let me know if y'all going to go and try it out based off of this review you just watched. Um, if y'all got suggestions for new food reviews, new videos, anything like that, just get down there in the comments, let your boy know. I've been hearing about a couple different new products, like food products. I've been searching a couple websites to find out or to find sites that give you updates when like fast food places drop new products. Um, I haven't really found it. Like I found one or two that's kind of on it, but if y'all know of any, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and stay up on the new food stuff when it drops or when it comes out. Um, but either way, bro, I don't really got too much else to say. You feel me? Hey, my fault, coach. My camera died, or I said it died. My memory card filled up. But either way, like I said, we on the road to 15K subscribers. We actually may already be at 15K by the time I post this. If we are, hey, I appreciate all the love y'all been showing, man. Y'all been going crazy on the channel as of recent. Um, well, really since we started, you feel me? I definitely appreciate all the love y'all been showing. Hey, man, let's keep it going, keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video.